In the world of motorcycle racing, one genre in particular takes extreme focus, top-tier fitness and absolute fearlessness. A 40-rider brawl over jumps, degrading terrain and dangerously high speeds. Motocross. What is motorcycle racing through the eyes of evolution? Where in the realm of racing do our most primal instincts truly awaken? The chase for the checkered flag is much the same as a hungry lion's chase for a fleeing gazelle. This is an exploration into those relationships where the lines of man and beast blur on the racetrack. This is Planet Moto. The intricacies of motocross stem from the soil. Each type of terra firma brings with it unique challenges and rewards unique sets of skill. Sand is particularly perplexing, and nestled in the rolling hills of western Massachusetts lay a legendary sand arena, Southwick. The only sand venue on the circuit, Southwick in the early morning light seems something out of a motocross storybook. The perfectly manicured sand beckons to be devoured by eager tires. What ensues once racers do take to the track can only be described as a feeding frenzy. Soft sand is a difficult surface to work with. Just a mere shift of weight may result in a rider taking an immediate and unexpected soil sample. Here is why. In terms of athletic fitness and strength, this is the most physically demanding motorsport on the planet. As if the terrain isn't sadistic enough, the New England summer climate can often be equally fickle. Just when the going seem as tough as can be, Mother Nature pulls yet another card out of her pocket. soaks the sand, the soil becomes more and more dense, robbing motorcycles of power and riders of energy. At Southwick, only the fittest survive. From the sands of Southwick, we travel now to Washougal, Washington, the Pacific Northwest's most esteemed motocross playground. Here, the wet climate, averaging over 100 inches of rainfall per year, combined with an endless network of tree roots, not only makes for rich greenery, but also some of the continent's most unique and marinated soil an exceptionally dark and complex track surface. This isn't a venue where brute force will reign supreme. It's an arena of finesse and control, the chess match of the American motocross circuit. The richly saturated soil is exceptionally slippery, 
An errant twist of the throttle can send a rider on a losing battle with gravity. For young riders, the soil of the Pacific Northwest can be a bit of a peculiar challenge. Just as a young rattlesnake is born with the inclination to use too much venom, young motocross racers carry the mentality that if some throttle is good, more must be better. But the strategy has sunk many a freshman at Washugo. This is a venue that rewards smart work over hard work. In a battle of alpha predators, only one enjoys the spoils of victory. The ferocious competitor versus the cunning strategist. After literally hundreds of collective laps and hours in the glaring summer sun, the soil becomes hard and dry, cementing the ruts and bumps that have developed over the day throughout the racetrack, making for an even more perplexing and dangerous challenge. the most rigorous of wide open efforts cannot best fastidious line selection and polished racecraft. To the victor go the spoils. In the world of motorcycle racing, one genre in particular takes extreme focus, top-tier fitness and absolute fearlessness. A 40-rider brawl over jumps, degrading terrain and dangerously high speeds. 